Welcome back. Let's take a look at futures this morning on this, the final trading day of the month and the third quarter. We have a rally underway. We're near the highs of the morning right now. The Dow Industrials right now up 172. The Nasdaq is up 104 and the S&P 500 higher by 23. We are waiting for the August PCE report. It's out in about five minutes time. Economists are expecting core prices to be up two tenths of a percent month over month and 3.9 percent year over year. Uh, this could be a market mover, as it is the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation reading. Joining us right now is Crossmark Chief Market Strategist Victoria Fernandez. Victoria, great to see you. What are you expecting from the PCE, and what do you attribute this big rally in stocks underway this morning? Yeah, I think, Maria, when we look at what stocks are doing right now, most of that can be attributed to the fact that we've seen yields come back down. You saw over the last couple of days, 10-year yields really hot, um, went up to the cycle highs. And now we've come down around, what, 10 basis points or so in the last 24 hours. So I think that gives um, the bears in the market a little bit of, of breathing room. We've seen equities rally just a little bit. And it could be that PCE, the expectation is that it's not going to be as hot as maybe many people thought, especially with the price of oil going higher, with the strikes that we're seeing and the pressure that that could put on wages. So maybe there's some expectation that that's going to be a little bit tamer, but I would be very cautious. Um, I think those two elements alone, wages and oil, are going to continue to put pressure on inflation, and we could see headline and core numbers actually move a little bit higher over the next couple months. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's what I was thinking because of the price of oil. It's up this morning again, hovering around, you know, $92 a barrel or so. But a lot of people think that it's going to 100. Uh, do you think this, this move in oil continues higher? I think it does. I mean, a lot of people say, well, is it the demand or is it the supply that's causing this? And I think it's really a combination of the two. We've seen China come back a little bit um, in regards to their economic activity. And so maybe demand comes up a little bit. We are going into winter months and heating um, needs are there. So we could see demand increase. And at the same time, we know supplies are low. SPR is low. We're almost at operational minimums um, at the storage in Cushing, Oklahoma. We know that cuts are going to continue from some of the OPEC countries. And so I think we've got both a supply and a demand issue that we're going to have to solve. To me, that means we're going to continue to see oil move higher. And I also think it means we're going to see some of these energy stocks continue to do well and could be a place that you want to put some money to work in your portfolio. Yeah, great point, Victoria. You've been calling for a pullback or a mild recession toward the end of the year, and I'm wondering if that's worsened if oil goes up. I mean, let's face it, if gasoline cuts into people's wages, they may pull back on spending elsewhere. So does the high price of oil exacerbate your expectations for a recession? It definitely feeds into that theory. Um, we know that higher gas prices pull on discretionary spending from consumers. We saw consumption actually um, be much lower than expected this week when those numbers came out. And consumer confidence is at a four-month low. So you look at those elements and you have to believe that you're going to get the consumer pulling back, although we are going in to a very strong seasonal quarter, going into the holiday season. So you could have some buffering where people are spending on their credit cards and doing things because of the holidays. But I still think higher oil, higher gas um, is going to cut into, uh, combine that with wages that are calming a little bit, but we're, could go higher because of the strikes that we're seeing, not just from UAW, but from culinary workers in Las Vegas, from healthcare workers. There's going to be a snowball effect there. So I think there's a lot that can hit the consumer and will add to that pullback. Yeah, a lot of strikes going on. Real quick, John, what are you expecting to look at? We're going to get to Cheryl in like 30 seconds, but what are you focused on with this PCE number? What are you looking at? I take a close look at consumer service price inflation. You know, that's been going up 5.2% year over yeah. year. You've got to calm down consumer service prices if the Fed is finally going to realize its goal of 2% okay. core PCE price index inflation. Yeah, we're waiting on the core, which is expected to be up two-tenths of a percent. You